welcome back we are talking about health we are talking about what you should access and in a kenyan way what is really healthy and unhealthy you know we could be here telling you know somebody eat your vegetables but we all know every time you go to that food section it's so <laughs> expensive there are even stores that are specifically for healthy food and you know it's not cheap but would you rather spend more now or spend more later after catching an illness Betty, can we Kenyanize this? Can we now come down to that lady, you know, in the village, um, that mom who can afford a few stems and really also bring to light the whole mentality that the junkier your food is, the more umefika, you know, <laughs> you're cool. Okay, can we just go through, uh, like, just wait for us that? So I, I, I like to break this because, of course, this is a general audience yes. and it's not specific to a disease, it's not specific to an age. Mm -hmm. But when, when we look at it from a medical perspective yes. and we are looking at an individual, then yeah. it gets deeper. Mm -hmm. It gets deeper. Why? Mm -hmm. Because there are measures that we use yes. to be able to say if you're healthy or you're getting at risk of yeah. non-communicable mm -hmm. diseases. Mm -hmm. One of them is the BMI, yes. the Body Mass Index. Yes. And Africans, Kenyans, we like saying, no, but you see, we are black people. That thing was made for other people. There's I a way we should look. Yeah. <laughs> I've heard that many times. Yeah. So it's basically the relationship between your height and your weight. Yes. There is only a certain weight that you frame. Yes. The height can hold. Exactly. The moment that BMI passes 24.9, yes. you are overweight. Exactly. The moment it passes 30, Obese. You are obese. Mm. And now we start classifying yes. it obese class one, class yes. two, or yes. morbid obesity yes. when now it is a disease. Yeah. And we are telling people mm. as we advocate and teach about non communicable diseases, mm -hmm. one to prevent it, which mm. is which is what um, N C D Alliance is doing, yes. prevention mm -hmm. and helping to support those who already have mm. non communicable diseases. Okay. So that it's it's talked about and we can help people manage it better. Mm and reduce the mortality, yes. the number yes. of deaths that we're yes. seeing. Yes. So BMI is, is one of it. Mm -hmm. So can we get this information out there? But that is one. Mm. There is another one to check central obesity. Central obesity is yes. basically the, the weight around yeah. the waistline. Yes. Because our organs are on the upper yes. part. Yes. If you have slaughtered any animal or mm. even chicken, mm. look at those organs vis-a-vis yes. -vis the size of the, the animal. animal yes it is no different from us yes we don't have a very big heart yeah. it's such a small thing yeah so <laughs> the moment you have so much fat on top of it yeah what are you subjecting it to mm. all right yes and and not to say that uh, the bigger the weight then uh, that's the only problem yes, yes because we also have hidden what we call thin fat for yeah. lack of a better word yes, thin fat. so you may look very yes, slender yes, yes. But you could be having yes. dyslipidemia, what yes. we call uh, deranged lipids. Ah, so the cholesterol in your yes, body yes. is deranged. Very, yes. Now, most people who are on junk food, mm -hmm. when you take them for cholesterol test, yes. however thin they may be, because maybe <laughs> the metabolism is much faster, the cholesterol is high. And usually the first measure that is high is something called triglycerides, yes. which is basically stored energy that you're not using. Yes. So you had energy that you didn't use and it is stored there. Yes. And that contributes now to your cholesterol yeah. going up. That in itself is a mm. risk for heart disease. Mm. It's a risk for high blood pressure. Mm -hmm. And you can get stroke or heart attack from true, it. True. You may not know because mm. we probably yeah. are fashioned to think the more rounder you are, the more <laughs> likely you are to be sick, yeah. which can be true. Yeah. But Mm. That's one way. Yeah. The other one is what we call visceral fat. Mm -hmm. So fat around your organs. Let's yes. go back to, to the slaughterhouse. Yes, yes, yes. And you have this nice uh, ka chicken that yeah. you're slaughtering. Yeah. And then around the gizzard, around, you know yeah. the mafuta, you, you're always peeling it out. Yeah. And yeah. so again, that is the same thing that we are doing to ourselves oh. when our visceral fat is high. Mm. So the fat around your vital organs is so much and that can easily lead to something called insulin resistance uh -huh. so out of nowhere you mm -hmm. ask a client is there anybody in your family with diabetes of course I've, I've, again we hardly tell people when we are sick yeah so uh, when they say no i say would you rather be right unknown because chances are you there even have somebody exactly, in your family yeah. who hasn't told you yeah. and they have their True. the disease yeah so there's that so when we look at the waist circumference mm -hmm. for a woman if 
your waist circumference is going above uh, 88 centimeters mm -hmm. we're asking the question yes uh, what are we holding in yes, there yes yes because the only time you're allowed to have that is mm. if there is another human being True. that is growing in there True. otherwise then it is unhealthy yes, yes. and for men 90 centimeters mm -hmm. uh, sorry 94 centimeters yes. and above then again that mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. um, a red flag okay we need to look at mm. then we look at what is your body composition like yes do you hold more muscle mm -hmm. or do you hold more, more fat? fat? Yes. Again, it's very mm. common for most people to mm. say, mm. it's my bones. Yeah. It's my bones like that are heavy. That? And I'm like, yeah. the, the highest yeah. bone density I have seen is like 3.8. Yeah. So you wear this bone yes. weight. Yeah, people so again, tend to say, I'm big bone. I'm, I have big bones. My bones mm -hmm. are heavy. Mm -hmm. and, and actually, now the sad part, the ones who say that, their bone density is like 2. Oh, no. <laughs> 2 point something oh, kilograms. No. I so know. it is to stratify that yes. in a body composition analysis and yes. ask how much fat do you mm, hold mm. if i am a lady and you have more than 20 percent fat yes. again you'll not say i'm a lady so i need yeah. more fat you mm. need but only to a certain oh, level yes, yes. so not more than 20 percent mm. and for men yes. nothing more than 15 percent really very true. yeah mm. so again uh, the area around your waist mm. you're a man uh, that yeah. tells you yeah. when you're in college or probably when you're about 24 years yeah. old that wasn't your weight. Yeah. But after 24 years yeah. old, were you growing? Mm -hmm. You're not growing. Not so anything growing. else that you've packed after yes. that, unless it is muscle and, you know, you're a weight lifter, yes, yes. is all it's fat. It's unnecessary, yeah. It's unnecessary And, and when, when we use body composition now to educate our people, mm. then they see beyond, I yes. am an African, I'm, I need to Absolutely. be a certain free. Yes. All right? Mm. And probably when you're much younger, mm. some of these things may not feel like they're, they'll affect you. Mm. But each year, yeah. you're growing. Mm. Uh, they say sometimes when you reach 40, you breathe in air and <laughs> everything sits in there, it doesn't want to go. It's that effort. How do we work out yes. to ensure that our muscle can actually yes. be more than, than, the, than, fat, than yes. the fat? Yes. So having known what it is that we look at mm. when it comes to food, what mm. do we know? Mm. We'll have our macronutrients, what your body requires in large amounts yes. because that is the supplier of energy. Yes, yes. So you'll have your carbohydrates, mm -hmm. you'll have your proteins, mm. and you will have your fats. Fat, yes, so fat fats yes. are not necessarily yes, bad. Yes. It is just where do you get your fat from? Exactly. Is it saturated fat yes. or unsaturated ah, fat? Okay. All right? mm. So the unsaturated fat, of course, is the yes. healthy heart, yes. heart-friendly mm. fat. Mm. But the saturated fat is now what we are discouraging people from taking, oh, the okay. trans fats, the ones yes. that we get from our deep-fried yes, foods, yes. you know, the junk, the mm. takeaways. Mm. Now that's, that's bad. Yeah. And you realize when trans fats is included in food, mm -hmm big on taste it is yes yeah. so when the right oil mm. is included mm. in in your food yes. it doesn't taste as yes, much yes but again we treat our palates yeah. to learn the right yes, thing yes if you're having trouble with sugar mm. and in a cup you're putting about five teaspoons yeah you don't wake up one day unless yeah, you're very yeah, strong willed yeah, yeah, yeah. and say i'll take it without yes. but you tell yourself mm -hmm. can i go to four yes take a week or two mm -hmm. go to three and you win your yes, body yes, off it yes. because it's an addiction. Yes. As I, I told someone today, mm. uh, get me a cup of black coffee. And I said, how many teaspoons of sugar? And I said, no, don't put any sugar. Yeah. Said, you said black coffee. I said, yes. Yeah. Yes. Just black it's coffee. It's black coffee. That's Not what sure. I wanted. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. So when you look at carbohydrates, mm. how less processed are they? Mm. The lesser the processing, the better for you yes. because they'll contain more fiber, yes. they'll contain more nutrients, yes. and therefore mm. a smaller amount will actually feed you. Mm. And in a layman's language, mm -hmm. that is why people would prefer yeah. to have their sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. their boiled maize, yes. to the bread, yes. and the processed bread, the yes. very white one. Yes, yes, yes. Because the processed white bread, you will probably want six slices, yeah. and you still not get full. True. But if it is your doma or boiled yes. maize, yes. you'll, Just you'll have a little yeah. and you're filled up. Very true. And that also helps you with digestion. Yes. So you will not have constipation, yes. you know, you will not want so much more. Mm. How is it then difficult to go to the section that has got the meats and the beans and the vegetables? Even when you're passing through the supermarket, the place with the carbohydrates, that's <laughs> the place that invites you. It's Everything true, just has colorful and smells yeah, very, really yeah, nice because yeah, of the extra sugar true, and the extra fat. Yeah. So that's carbohydrate. Go mm. for what is less processed, yes. has got high fiber, mm -hmm. is as natural as possible. And then ask yourself, what is it that I do yes, on a day to day yes, basis? Yes. Do I need that much mm, energy? Mm. If I don't need, then that would be the least amount of serving yes, on my plate yes. may not apply to the children because mm. the children are playing mm. you are mm. sitting down mm. 
and then the proteins is another mm. macronutrients. Yes. So we either get our proteins as plant proteins mm -hmm. or animal proteins. Mm. We need a balance of both, yes. would be nice. But yes. if somebody decides I'll be a vegetarian, then again, we work around yeah. it, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. But if you're going for our meat, yeah. go for the lean meat mm. so that you reduce your yes. intake of the saturated yes. fat. Yes. But it doesn't mean you can't eat meat. You can Very eat true. it, mm. all right? Mm. Uh, there's the issue of uh, maybe our meat, uh, meat has been associated with a lot of things. Mm. We're still very lucky. We have grass-fed beef and goat and everything. Like we are yes. free range chicken. Yes. So we are not yeah. really over-processing that True. side. But we're getting there. Yeah. We're getting to the over-processing yeah, part. Yeah, we are. So what you're trying mm. to limit is the, mm. the hams, the sausages and all that. Because yeah. again, that is extremely yeah. processed. Yes. That has got very high trans fats mm. and very high very sodium true. amounts. True. Right? Mm. And then when you come to the fat, which fats am I using? Mm. Do I want to go for this nice tasting cheese? Mm. Or I want to go for the low fat variety of mm. the cheese? Mm. or better still yeah. just take your peanut butter yeah. apply on yeah. your bread yeah. avocado yes. avocado yes. I don't know there are Pay people the who don't day. like avocado I love avocado well I yeah. do yeah. Right? So you just lay it there, mm -hmm. have some tomatoes in it, mm -hmm. and make a sandwich out of it. Yeah. You'll be full for long. Mm -hmm. Or I am in the village, I probably just have groundnuts, yes. and I want to take porridge. Mm -hmm. I'll take just a little bit of porridge mm -hmm. and eat with my groundnuts, mm -hmm. and that fills me. Mm. Okay? Yeah. Then I go to the micronutrients. Mm -hmm. Are we conscious of what we are putting on our plate? If I want to put my vegetables, mm. have I overcooked them? You know, there are people who cook their vegetables, cabbage, and I'll not say who, you know them. They, they cook the cabbage from 7 a.m. for <laughs> dinner <laughs> at 7 p.m. Yeah. And by the time you're eating it, you're asking it's yourself, a, you're am I drinking this cabbage? Or something. You just... It's, you might as well drink water I and go know. to bed. So just yes. you know, lightly fry mm. your vegetables so that they are palatable. Yeah, exactly. All right? Yes. And and have a mix. Mm -hmm. If I say salads, I'm not talking about you have to go and get lettuce yeah, or yeah, yeah. cucumber things that mm. are foreign to you. Mm. Just your tomatoes and onions very and dania. Mm. That makes a very good very salsa. Good, very good. And and that that's kachumbari. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. And it will still give you your vegetables. Mm -hmm. If I have my mishiri, the French yes. beans yes. today. Mm. The next day, the market is uh, selling eggplant. Yes. Uh, what do they call bringanya? Yes, yes. Uh, these things go bad in the market. Very true. They're even begging you to buy. Yeah. And you have them, mm. you know, in a variety. Mm. That helps mm. you to get in your nutrients. Yes. And then I, I don't know if it is um, what we've learned over the years. Mm. We really find it difficult to eat fruits. So this they've, five they've a day a lie mm -hmm. going around, mm -hmm. you know, about, you know, oh, don't eat fruits. And maybe if you can, mm -hmm. could you touch on the facades? You know, mm -hmm. every time there's a new diet coming in and one of them was that fruits have sugar. Mm -hmm. But maybe you can join that, uh, your point with we, that. Yeah, so, mm. so most of us are having a problem mm. eating the fruits. Then mm. the one day you remember you're supposed to eat yeah. fruits. Do you know what we do? Now mm. you have half a kilogram of fruits in the name of fruit salad. And you're trying to eat it and say, I never take lunch. But yeah. you have fructose. So uh, when we're breaking down carbohydrates, mm. there is a starch. Yes. There is legumes. Yes. There is fructose from the fruits. Yes. There is lactose from the milk and milk yes. products. Yes. Um, uh, there is maltose from malt mm -hmm. and malt-based products, mm -hmm. the beers, mm -hmm. the energy drinks, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all that. Then we have starchy vegetables. So mm -hmm. starchy vegetables would be your minji. Yes. There would be your pumpkins, yes. butternuts, yes. parsnips, and yeah. all that. Potatoes. Yes. Yeah. And then the tuber vegetables, yeah. the potatoes, yeah. the oh, viazes, okay, and okay, all okay, that. Yes. Right. And mm -hmm. at the end of the list is the sucrose. So yes. the sugars we know it: honey, yes. molasses, sugar yes. syrups, and all that stuff. Yeah. So once we have graded this, then you ask yourself, there's something called glycemic index. Mm. Of all these things that I'm eating, which one has got the greatest impact in raising my blood sugar? Yeah. Because the higher it raises, the more you want and the more uh, sugar but you have you to want, store, yes. which you will store as fat. You know yes. to store sugar as sugar. True, 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 yeah. So ask yourself, if I'm going to eat pumpkin and carrots, is it the same as me eating my honey? Mm -hmm or my bread mm -hmm. or my chapati mm. and then you go for the low and very few of the medium yes. uh, glycemic index foods mm -hmm. and extremely minimal intake mm -hmm. of the high uh -huh. glycemic index yes, food so yes. again once we arrange it like that mm -hmm. we are still able to enjoy very our true. food yes. without necessarily restricting mm. what we will eat and Absolutely. what we will not eat and that's Absolutely. why mm. some of this diets are a myth. Mm. It will not work for everybody. Yeah, yeah. Somebody will say, I want to go on to intermittent fasting. Yeah. Has it been studied? Yes, it is yeah. called time-restricted eating. Mm -hmm. It has been studied, mm -hmm. but it doesn't work for everyone. Mm -hmm. Somebody else will say, 
I am this blood group type and I'm only going to eat this. But the moment you restrict human beings so much, That's that is when they actually yes, want to go yes, for it. Yes. And how sustainable is it? Sustainable. So mm -hmm. if I am using a particular diet, for example, I say I want to go keto diet and yes. then go into low carbohydrate diet yes. and then sustain a particular lifestyle, yes. then we can talk about the client yeah. that I'm talking yeah. with. But I would not be very extreme and say, this mm. is what you must have. Mm. Some people have even, even gone on water diets, yeah. you know, water fast. So yeah. for 21 days, you're yes. just drinking water. Yeah. The day you will stop that water fast, you, you will, will eat go everything. Yes, it's yes. True. Yeah. And that's, that's not right. Yeah. Yes. Wow, that is such a good point to note. And uh, again, it's a good thing you've broken down what exactly we need at what point and what level. And I hope that it's quite clear to our audience. Uh, but um, and maybe something we've truly left out is now that part of Kenyanizing mm -hmm. and really telling this person who is able to get their vegetables mm -hmm. and that small ugali mm -hmm. and whatever. It's, it's the healthier option. So l l let me make this easier. Mm -hmm. uh, but when you look at um, your packeted maize flour, yes. Versus the one you get from the uh -huh. posho meal, which one is cheaper? The one you get from posho meal. Exactly. And it's tastier, actually. It is tastier? Yes. And you will not even eat a lot of it. Yeah. Actually, sorry, do you, is it me, mm -hmm. or at some point, ugali had stopped tasting like ugali? It had. Yeah? Because everything has been removed. That makes and a lot of sense. So yeah. when you have the... Um, the processed ugali yes. and the traditional one yes. and you even leave it on the yes, shelf, yes. the molds will even yes, go for the real one. Yes. They won't even eat this yes. one. And as we are busy eating it, That's molds. It. Yes. All right? Uh -huh. So you 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 will have a better deal, yes. way cheaper yes. with the yes. posho meal ugali. Yes. Yes. All right? Mm. And then you tell yourself, maybe I need proteins, mm. but I can't afford much. Yes. So I tell myself, maybe I need about, um, let me put it at a gram, of proteins per kg body weight mm -hmm. and whatever that translates to mm -hmm. gives me about 50, 50 grams yes. of, um, mm -hmm. of meat. Mm. It is different from saying, mm. today is the day I've bought meat. I am going <laughs> to eat everything. <laughs> it saddens me yeah. when kids are given two pieces of meat and then mm -hmm. the man of the house gets, gets the bigger yes. portion. So yeah. th this is the question. Mm. Proteins are for repair and growth. Yes. What are we growing as adults? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> We're not growing anything. So who has the capacity to actually eat more protein? It's that little one. Exactly. Yes. And of course, we're looking at what is their age so exactly. that, again, their kidneys, yes. are they ready to, to break down, yes. process all yes. that yes. meat? Yes. But really, mm. I think that the dad in the house should be getting the least amount of proteins, yeah. if anything. Yeah. And then we are talking about having our uh, micronutrients, the vitamins, minerals, and trace elements mm. in high amounts. Yes. So then I'll have more of my mboga mm -hmm. first on my plate, mm -hmm. and then I can add in the omena mm -hmm. or the chicken or the fish or the yeah. beans, yeah. and then I can go for my ugali. So then it will be less. Yeah. Sometimes we think we are hungry, but we are dehydrated. We, you didn't drink true. water, yeah. and all of a sudden you want to eat everything. Yeah. Had you just taken the time and told yourself, I have not taken have the water. Yes. Can I sit down and yes. drink my two to three glasses yes. of water first See what of all? Happens. Yes. You'll be so full, you'll not want to eat. It's true. It's the same thing we tell children. Yeah. I don't want you to drink that water because you'll not be able to eat. So why aren't we practicing it? <laughs> so if it's broken down like that, then mm. you know, if I have my meat and yeah. I have a family of five and I've only bought a kilogram, yeah. then I'll buy probably more sukumawiki, yes. more terere, more yes. managu. Yes. And then if you're going to buy managu, uh -huh or uh, the tradition of vegetables, yeah. where I come from, we can really keep it for two weeks. <laughs> I know it tastes nice, yeah. and that's a good thing, mm -hmm. but if I still want to enjoy that mm, taste, mm. I probably want that to be the least amount, yes. and then my fresh yes. leafy yes. vegetables yes, yes, yes. to be slightly yes, more, yes, yes. so that I can, I can have a balance of the fiber yeah. and the good fiber and yeah. the good nutrition that I need mm, from mm. it. And then uh, let us not respond to hunger. Let us plan ourselves. Yeah. If you don't plan, mm. then you'll fall for everything. If you're hungry, you didn't take breakfast because oh, wow, I was rushing out of the house, and then lunchtime passed, you didn't take lunch. There is no way you're going to fight the temptation of eating unhealthy foods. Yeah. But if you had planned yourself, I always ask, unless you're a surgeon, mm -hmm. even pilots have time to eat sure. because then there's autopilot. Yeah. So unless you're a surgeon, mm. on an operating table yeah, at that point, yeah. what is the reason you're not eating? takes five to ten minutes to eat. Sure. What is it that will go so wrong? Because what could actually go so wrong is you collapsing there. True. 
and being sick the patient and that work will be your done. Your skills, yeah. That work will be done. Yes. So we just must love ourselves yeah. enough to yeah. eat healthy. Yeah. Love yourself. Yeah. Eat healthy. Yeah. When you're older and uh, you're a bit tired, you will enjoy the benefits of your savings. <laughs> Sorry, you, you, I mean, my curious <laughs> mind yes. is, is already thinking. I need to ask my surgeon friends when they <laughs> what happens when they have those long no they, they eat you they plan do? yourself so wow. you know it's just like now when we are fasting yes for yes, ramadan yes, yes yes you plan yourself mm. on, on how to eat yeah so you, in the when you break the fast are you breaking the fast with juices and sodas and yeah. you know sweets and everything yeah. or you're breaking your fast with a slightly moderate to high glycemic yes, index yes, carbohydrate yes. but with the right food including fruits and vegetables uh -huh. and hydrating properly yes. so you're probably breaking the fast and saying i'll take a glass or two of water mm. and i'll take my one or three dates mm. so that there's some sugar in the body ah, for the true. brain to think i love that i love the fact that you brought the issue of like dates and yes. you know i think we really underestimate the power of having those around the house exactly. as opposed to the chocolates, the chocolates the, and everything the m ms oh oh sorry we we're not supposed <laughs> to mention names but i i think people more people need to hear that get your dates let's sit there they give you the exact same satisfaction they will and, and yes. the, the thing is okay mm. so then mm. dates are good yes but that does not mean you go to the supermarket yes. and buy 500 and grams and in two and days all of it. it is all, no, yes. no 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 it moderation. must be conscientious hey, exactly, eating yes. so you eat it in moderation drink yes. your water eat your dates mm. and then you go on to your meal yes. and probably uh, as people are telling stories yeah. and everybody's running for their samosas mm. you probably want to have your exactly. fruits or some yogurt go yeah. to bed yeah. and when you wake up mm. now for mm. the um, pre-dawn yes, meal, yes. then delay it as much as possible exactly. so that you're not eating at 5 yeah. and you're going to start fasting at 5.30. True, true, true. You probably want to eat at 5.20 yeah. so that at 5.30 yes. you still have yes. food in your tummy. Exactly. And at that point you want proteins, mm. so you probably want your fish, you want your chicken mm. and, and a bit of vegetables yes. so that you have something to sustain you throughout the, yes. the day. Great. Yeah, so we yes. can still do these things. Absolutely. They're all doable. Absolutely. It's, it's, I think, that mentality and just really practicing instead of disobeying or obeying the hunger. Yes. The hunger punk. So they're very shameless. They're very shameless. And yeah. Rome was not built in a day. Exactly. So it must be something you practice. Yes. And uh, it's one thing to say, you know, when we were growing up, we never used to eat vegetables. I, I believe there's a certain age where mm. that line doesn't apply. Yeah, yeah. So once you know you are an adult, you're responsible for yourself and for people, Absolutely. just start teaching them slowly, yeah. slowly inculcate this. So don't yeah. allow your children to be going to school mm. with all these sugar sweetened beverages. Sure. And, and you know, they didn't eat breakfast, mm. then at 10 o'clock they have all these juices and crepes and everything. Mm. They get into class and they crash. That's true. So you are there wondering, why, mm. why can't my child perform very well yeah, in math and science? Yeah. They can't concentrate. Yeah. They are busy sleeping. It's true. All right? It's true. Yeah. Great, Betty. Ah, goodness me. I always love these conversations, but then time is not always on our side. So we're going to wrap it up and definitely, I think and I believe that people can hear and we'll hear more of this. Yeah. And I think the biggest call is not to wait until it's too late, yes. not to, to make that statement from uh, the medical perspective true. Let's learn, let's uh, learn from people who've been there. Yes. And I love the fact that there's hope at the end of the tunnel. However, I think the most important thing is to just prevent. Yes. And we wanna thank you for coming to the show. Thank you and for sharing, you know, this is a whole session somebody should be paying for, but you're here freely giving us, and we really appreciate Thank you. you. And Thank indeed, you. we hope that it can be a resounding message every day of the year yes. other than the 7th of April. Sure. So yeah, thank sure. you so much. Thank you. Great. Uh, it, that has been Betty. She's uh, really broken down everything. And if you really listen, she's not calling people out. She is educating. And educating and information is the beginning of everything. Either you will fail because you don't know, or you do the wrong thing because you don't know. But now you know. I hope we can be able to leave her details so that if you need help on your diet or <laughs> your nutrition facts, then you can be able to contact her. I've been your host, Maureen Waititu. Until next time, so good night. <laughs>